Hi everyone, this is the very last pre-Inktober video before the fun finally starts. In this video, I'm essentially going to talk about the Platinum Carbon Ink Desk Pen, which is one of the first fountain pens that I bought just for drawing. So I've got two here and um, they, they're two different size nibs. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I've got a medium and a fine. Either that or it's a fine and a and an extra fine, but I think it's a medium and a fine. So they're very simple, they're very light, they're all plastic, so they don't feel like they're like a million dollar pen. They were back then between 10 and $15, I think. So you might see the difference in the nibs. I'm not quite sure but anyways I really like them they draw very well the, the ink flows very nicely but not too much which makes it very easy to control and uh, draw fine details you can write upside down with it as well and create even finer lines um, I just like the size I, I like that it's light because if you want to sketch for a long time it's really not gonna tire your hand overall I've been very happy with it uh, they come with a cartridge actually this one is almost done um, that has a uh, platinum carbon ink in it it looks like this and it has a little uh, metal bowl in it like this so you just put it in and pop it in gonna hear a little snap and it's good to go the, the nice thing about the bowl is that you know it acts like a little shaker inside because the carbon ink is a pigment ink so it helps mix the pigments inside also the um, I they've never really uh, dried out on me even if after not using them for uh, months and months so that's another great thing that I really like about these. So this year for Inktober, I wanted to use more colors and I, I, I wanted to use mostly fountain pens and I basically wanted to buy more of these and get some converters to just use all sorts of different colors. Um, these two, the two different sizes, I want to keep them in black and I will not be using converters with them. What I do and actually I'm going to show you right now is take my bottle of carbon ink which is the exact same ink that was in here shake it a little bit I might actually put it on a piece of paper to avoid making a mess and some paper towels too because because this this ink has pigments it's a pigmented ink when it dries it has a lot a lot of little flakes that come out from the edge of the um, the bottle so what I'm simply going to do is refill the cartridge and that's all so I've got a syringe I'm gonna fill it up well not all the way I'm just gonna put a little bit inside and just put oops not sure what's why there's a bubble here here we go and that's it Since I always want to use this one with black ink, I can reuse the cartridge. I mean, you can also buy cartridges that are uh, the exact same ones if you want to, but they, they get expensive. Anyway, what I was saying before I get sidetracked is that so that I could use lots of different colors, I want to buy more of these. They're reasonably cheap. And I, I think I had bought these, those on Amazon. You can buy them on lots of different uh, websites. They're pretty easy to find. 
uh, but I could not find these exact ones and I found out that Platinum had replaced them with the desk pens. So they're, they're basically the new version of these. Um, so I thought I would give them a, 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 a chance. They, they have mixed reviews, but it's a good brand. So I thought I would, uh, I would try them anyway. So right away you see that the size is, uh, is different and the shape a little bit too. So the new ones are bigger. They're a little wider as well. The caps are different. Uh, I like the, the shape of this one because it doesn't roll off. But this one has a clip, so it won't either. They both uh, snap in and inside you can't really see it, but I think they both have a little uh, plastic cap to prevent them from uh, drying out. I'll show you what I mean. Something like this inside. So the nibs look different. They still show that it's a platinum pen and the platinum nib. There's a, a P on it. I don't know if you can see this. This one is a little bit bigger. You don't have a choice of uh, nib size, or at least I haven't found any. That's, and I don't really know what it is. I believe it's extra fine um, just by using it, uh, but it doesn't show in the description what it is. So it comes now in two different colors, a black and a red. You see that it doesn't say platinum anywhere. And this one feels lighter than this one, even though it's smaller. The ring comes off. This one doesn't when you open it. Or I haven't noticed it. And um, I, I put already a converter in this one just to add different color ink. Um, but it did come with a cartridge like this one did. And this one is a little bit different. It's the same shape. It also has a little silver ball in it. Same shape, same size. It doesn't say carbon ink on it. And this one is the exact same thing and I put another converter in it, in it um, yet with a different color ink. So as far as the way they write or they draw, I think they do a fine job. I think the nib is pretty fine compared to this one. They are slightly different, but um, I like it. I quite like it. So I'm not surprised. This is even cheaper than these. Um, and um, just like these, they're pretty easy to find. Uh, I think this one was $8. This one was $7 or something like that. I'll put a link in the description box. But um, I don't know why they changed carbon. Uh, nope. I think the cartridge also with this one was red ink. Uh, so this is a platinum desk pen and this one is I think or just a pen. We'll see how they'll do in the long run, but I really don't mind them because I have small hands. I like this size better um, and I'm used to using them. Uh, as far as the way they write, I like, I like both. Yeah, but it's, <laughs> I don't know why the bad reviews, but I like them. Now, if you don't, if you're not a big fan of the big ones like this. Um, I found by chance another desk pen, but it's not by Platinum. It's made by a uh, pilot. And if you look at them, they're 
pretty identical. Not quite. The caps are very similar. The, the one for Pilot is a little longer, but it's very similar. It has a gold ring here. Doesn't say anything anywhere. The nibs are totally different. You can compare with uh, the other one too. They're totally different. And um, a feed that I'd never seen before. The feed actually has grooves uh, right on the outside here, which is very interesting. Again, I've never seen that before. So these come with either a fine or an extra fine nib. They come in two colors, uh, the black and the uh, dark red, just like the newer carbon pens or platinum pens. Uh, and you can have the, the size nib you want in either color. And I must say, I haven't tried the, the, the extra fine yet, but the fine, uh, the, the ink flows really well. It's very smooth. Uh, I like that ver very much. Um, I don't know if it's because of the Pilot ink or if it's because of the nib itself or both. This one is drier than this one. I like the dry one for nice details. I like drawing with it. I think it will be nice uh, drawing with this one as well. And you can write upside down also with it. Uh, they also come with a cartridge. Uh, right here. They are slightly different than the platinum. They contain roughly the same amount of ink, but they look totally different. They're propriety cartridges and it's usually the case with the brands so this one for, for this one I, I used the the cartridge that came with it to try the ink but I also bought some converters which are nothing like I've ever seen before it doesn't look like you can put much ink in them compared to a regular one I guess it's very similar that's a Lamy for the Lamy pens it contains one and a half time as much ink as the, the the pilot one i think this one contains a bit more as well but when i saw this i'm like whoa can't put much ink i mean compared to the cartridge itself you know it's not much but that's all right there's another converter that i had never seen before i was not familiar with these i don't know if they're older or if they're more like um, a japanese style i'm not quite sure uh, for, for the converters, basically, once you put it, once you attach it to the, um, the pen, you push this piston all the way down, and then you, you, you dip it in your ink bottle, and then you draw the ink in, just like this. For this one, it's just a squeeze converter. So you, you will attach it the same way. Just snap it in place. You put the nib in the ink. Actually, you probably should push the air out. So this bit of metal here can just be pushed in. Put in your ink and then you let go and the ink goes up. Um, it sounds like a, a nice way of doing it. The only thing I have to say with these is that um, you can't see the ink inside, so you don't know how much you have in there. You don't know what color it is. So that's the only drawback. Anyway, this was supposed to be a short video and it turned out into uh, something a little longer than I thought. Uh, but yeah, to sum up, these are the Platinum Carbon Ink pens that I really like drawing with. These are the new versions, which aren't bad at all. They're just different. They're bigger. Um, all the little elements are, are slightly different, but um, to me, they, they work fine. These are the Platinum Desk Pens. These are the Pilot Desk Pens, which are more reminiscent of the um, Carbon Ink Pens, the original ones. 
with it. I like them all and I will have lots of different colors in all of them and I'm happy with them. Let me know if you've tried any of these and which one is your favorite. Were you disappointed with the new version of the platinum dust pens? If so, you should try these. You might like them. All right, that's it for today. Thank you all for stopping by. Have a wonderful day. Have a fun Inktober. I hope you all participate. Let me know if you will. I love to uh, see everybody's videos. Um, I mean, some of you might not, but you can also let me know if you're going to share your drawings on Instagram. I'd love to see that. I will be posting one video every day. Uh, uh, not a shorts, but a, um, a sped up one because I don't have time to... It's going to take way too long to have a real time video for every, every drawing uh, for Inktober. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have one every day and I'll, I'll put the drawing on Instagram for those who don't have time to come check out the video every day. So uh, have fun everyone and I'll see you very soon with the first Inktober video. Bye bye! Thank you.